Let's look at the request for production of documents, what I call the production request. As we talked about earlier in the overview, that this document is a, a tool to, to find actual documents. So you're not asking questions, you just want them to produce stuff to you. Um, and, and what you're looking for is documents that, that you, know, you can prove that they don't have what they need or, or that you have what you need. So look at the sample production request that we have in the materials. The very first thing, uh, again, if you notice, is the case style, like always, and, and that's going to be styled just like all the other pleadings uh, in the case. And then you're going to call it your first request for production of documents. You can do multiple requests for production if you find that you need to. Um, typically, just the first one is enough. Um, there's enough here to, to make it work. Uh, the very first thing, if you notice in the materials, is the, the kind of a definition section. So you're defining, you know, throughout the materials, you know, what it is that um, these things mean. Um, you, your document, um, and document can mean, for instance, you know, you don't want some some smart attorney saying, well, you said document, but it's really not a document; it's an electronic file, and so we're not going to give it to you. Um, so that's why you have to be very specific. Um, so if you look at document. It goes on and on and on and on and on about what a document is. Um, and that means it's trying to cover anything and everything um, that you know, you're looking for. And, you know, you're just looking for the material, that, no matter what form it's in. All right, so the definition section is very important. And then um, you know, the date and everything else. Because again, you're trying to get around um, some slick attorney trying to get around responding because you didn't say the right thing. So the definitions kind of sort of cover that. And then here you know it says documents to be produced and it says everything in A. So we attach it as an exhibit of the documents that we want to be produced. And then you have, like we talked about before, the certificate of service. So you got to serve it on the court, serve it on the attorney. Okay. Now, exhibit A, if you look here, um, the very first thing is all documents, etc. that a plenty of standing to bring this case. Now, again, we've talked about this before, but this is one of the very strongest arguments that you typically have, is that the plaintiff isn't the right party to bring it because there isn't a proper endorsement chain, there isn't a proper assignment. And so what we're looking for is anything and everything that is going to tend to prove that or disprove that. So that's the very first thing that's in the request, and you can read that yourself. Um, and then we're looking at um, things talking about the promissory note. You know, you know, so we're trying to get the basic documents of the foreclosure. Uh, number three is uh, showing that they're the proper servicer. Number four um, goes to you know, who actually owns the promissory note. And it goes on and on. So you're, you're trying to establish your case or, or say that their case is bad by the different documents. So what I want you to do is essentially just copy this production request. This is a pretty standard, pretty all-encompassing production request for the standard foreclosure case. All right. And it's not overly broad, it's not bad at all in any way. So if you kind of sort of just cut and paste um, this, this production request, this is going to cover virtually everything that you need, okay? And then you serve it um, just as we talked about in the uh, section on uh, pleadings.